This is huge. <laughs> This is the Prim Advent Calendar and I'm going to unbox it and show you everything that's inside. You can see exactly whether it's worth it, whether it's great value. You can find out everything by watching this video. Hi, I'm Emma from Studio 77. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, please do consider subscribing and hitting that bell for more sewing tips, tricks and sewing tutorials. If you have any questions, queries or comments throughout this video, please do pop them in the comments box below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. So on this video, we are going to be unboxing the Prim Advent Calendar. It's a ginormous one. <laughs> it's a giant. It says limited edition with exclusive price saving. Merry Somos, hashtag Somos, have a colorful Christmas time with Prim. The advent calendar for all scissor jugglers, needle tamers, and thread dancers. Now, we have started off on a good start, I think. There, I mean, first of all, it's huge, um, which is amazing, which kind of shows me there's going to be a lot in here. I have to mention that this video has not been sponsored by Prim. They haven't sent me this advent calendar. This is all my own views. So I just wanted to show you what's inside so you can make up your own mind for yourself. This retails around £84, so it is a little bit more on the expensive side. I am going to cover up here. I've just realised that you can see massive spoilers on the back. Again, don't put spoilers in there. We don't want to know. Although I guess you're watching this video for <laughs> spoilers, so there's that. It says, let's start into a colourful and creative Christmas season. Christmas time this year is all about personal interpretation of hashtag happiness is handmade. We are celebrating the Christmas season, normally a rather quiet time. Normally a rather quiet time. Okay, <laughs> typo. With colour and noise, anything goes. Let's celebrate a colourful somus. You are a newcomer to all this sewing business and still need to build the basis for your D... Okay, I feel like they didn't do um, editing or spell, uh, not spell check. <laughs> they didn't proofread this back. You are a newcomer to all this sewing business and still need to build the business, still need to build the basis for your DIY career. Hashtag Somus Advent Calendar will surprise you with 24 fancy sewing gadgets, which are indispensable for DIY and upcycling projects. So they're obviously aiming this at beginners rather than people that have already got um, a lot of stuff. Be like Pippi Longstocking and sew your world the way you like it. You are already as hot as chip fat for your next must-have item. You are already... Okay, but still have no idea how to go about the project. I feel like this has been translated from a different language. Scan the QR code and discover wonderful inspiration and helpful tip hints. Long live cardboard packaging. Why the inlay for the advent calendar can be recycled and decays in the soil. Fill the box inlay with potting compost and seeds and in a few weeks you can admire your distinctive flower power. How cool is that? I love sustainability. I love recycling. Like I said in my last advent calendar, the advent calendar that I've designed, um, I wanted everything to be recyclable. So this is really cool, Prim. I love that you've done that. So let's open it up. Oh, it says sew it like it's hot on the top. Okay, so the boxes or the openings are all around the outside. Let's find number one. There we go, number one. Okay, really easy to open. Love that. What do we have? What do we have? Oh, oh no, it's not going to be like Hemline. Please tell me it's not going to be like the Hemline calendar. I had such high hopes. Okay. We have some safety pins. That's not a good start, but already they are a kind of higher quality because they you get them in this little box. And these little big boxes are super useful. Um, so, I mean, it's useful to have safety pins when I sometimes go on set. I don't do that very often, but when I'm doing costume stuff, that's quite useful to have a little pack of those. So I'm not gonna diss it too much. The packaging, we've started off so high on this prim. Let's, let's see how we go. Number two, we have a little card. Oh, we've got some needles. Oh, hang on. What's this? A needle. Oh, I've seen these before. Okay. So we do have some needles, which are a little bit 
doll, but it's okay because this is a needle holder. I wonder if it has a magnet. I think it has a magnet inside. So let's pop some in. Yes, it's magnetic. Oh, they don't come out. That's cool. And then you twist them up. Oh, see, that is a really cool gadget. I do like that gadget. Yes, starting, okay. You all can be forgiven for the safety pins. That is cool. I like that. You can be forgiven for the, the boring needles as well. <laughs> Although that is quite cute packaging, isn't it? I like that packaging. Okay, on to number three. Making us go around in circles. Here we go, number three. We have a seam ripper. Okay. It's a seam ripper, but it it's it's quite a nice one it's like an ergonomic one that's yeah that's quite cool actually i don't mind that i don't mind that number four. Oh, it's something big oh what's this what's this universal two times it's not in english Hey Wash Champion. What is it? Okay, I don't know what that is. I'm guessing it's um, a washing powder, but why do we have a washing powder in... I'm a bit confused by that. Okay, I'll have to find out what that is. Oh, it is! Laundry... Mini laundry detergent. I'm a bit confused as to why you get laundry detergent in a sewing calendar, but... It's quite cute. Be good for travelling, I guess. A bit confused by that, I must say. Oh, we have some silver thread to go with the other silver thing that we got in hemline. Useful, and my machine really doesn't like this kind of thread, but yeah, that's quite fun. Useful. Five, number six. I mean there's no there's no instructions in there I think it would be quite useful to have something that told you what it was or what it did because you may look at that and kind of not know and then open it and get a shock um but that is awesome it's a folding rotary cutter and it look like I love that it looks like a little eye it's like a little um chameleon it reminds me of that is so cute and that little it's even got a little um place for your finger i feel like that's going to be really ergonomic to cut with and so cool if you're doing some sewing on the train and you need to cut something i don't know why you'd be doing it on the train but anyway if you're going somewhere on a retreat or something and you just want to have a rotary cutter just in case that is really cool i've not seen that before Number seven. Ooh, some clips, more clips. Never have too many. Number eight. Oh, that's quite sweet. They're cool. Nice little addition that you can add on to your projects. I like that they come in two different colours as well. Number nine. We have a mini. A mini hand gauge. Oh, it's been stuck to the back of the cardboard. Well, that's a bit annoying. That's okay, it's come off. A mini hand gauge. I wonder if you can use this for pressing as well. That's quite cool. It's nice that it's lightweight and slightly flexible as well. So you could bend it um, around, you know, over seams, things like that. And this is, this is quite useful for plotting out buttons as well. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. And the little angle. Useful. Okay. Number 10. 
so far I'm I'm not disappointed. I think there's some quite cool stuff in there. I wish please leave out safety pins and pins in sewing in sewing advent calendars. We, we don't want them. Okay, what's in number ten? Okay, what was I just saying? We've got a tape measure. Useful. Again, really useful because you know sometimes you cut through tape measures with rotary blades or scissors, things like that by accident. I must add, not ideal when that happens. It's quite nice. That it's got that little popper on there. Yeah, that's good. Number eleven. Oh, I can't open. Oh, there we go. What's this? Snag wizard. Oh, that's cool. So you pop it into your fabric twist it and then pull it through and it pulls through the little thread that um that has pulled out that's quite useful not seen that before hmm. 12 another pin cushion we don't need pin cushions most people that are learning to sew, that's that's like the one of the first things they make is a pincushion. Tell me if I'm wrong. <laughs> but yeah, another tomato pincushion. But I have to say, this is better than the hemline one. Look, this isn't drunk. <laughs> 13. Ah, some more thread. Yeah, it's useful, but not that exciting, I'm afraid. But it's still cool. It's okay. At least it's not black and white. <laughs> That's probably going to be black and white now, I've said that. 13. 14. 14. We have... What do we have here? Oh! See, again, you can never have too many of these. It's a chalk line marker. These are brilliant. This is really ergonomic as well. These are... Um, so useful mine's kind of exploded a bit so useful sometimes the little wheels go and sometimes if you get one that snags a bit it may just be that particular one like don't give up on them they are really really good um super useful to have and actually i think my one has run out so very happy about that 15 We have an LED needle threader. But yeah, I mean, I'm not getting any younger, so I am probably going to need a needle threader at some point in the future. Um, so that's quite cool if you're going to use a needle threader, that it's got a little light on it. I can imagine that's really useful. And I like that it's quite chunky. It's not those like flimsy ones that you lose all the time that come with the pack of needles. And the the little threader looks like it it goes back in the um, in the box in the thing <laughs> as well. That's cool. Oh, and it has a um, thread that you can put it around your neck as well. Yeah, I like that. That's useful. Sixteen. Oh, it's more thread. Red thread. Yeah, useful if you're saying Christmas presents, I guess. Seventeen. It says love, love, love. Oh, now, okay, these pins are useful. Flower headed pins. They have really chunky as well. You definitely don't want to sew over those. Um, I guess they're more for quilting to hold the, your batting together and everything, but definitely useful to have in your stash. 18. we have the flowers we've got some sunflowers to this is for putting in the packaging so that we can grow some flowers afterwards that's a really nice idea i love that idea and we have a point turner oh that's great because my other one my prim one um as i mentioned in the hemline video the end snapped off so um super useful i think you can't have too many of these because the ends sometimes do go if you're a little bit aggressive i'm obviously too aggressive with when i'm turning my points 19 
hemming paper okay or oh, hemming hemming web fusible web this is really useful um i don't use it for hemming but i do use it for like applique all the time you could cut strips and do um, really nice applique with this or you don't have to use it that thickness you can double it up if you wanted to great thing to have in your stash 20 oh okay we've got a thimble if you're new to sewing then then that is quite useful actually this is a really nice thimble even though it's too big for my finger it is it's staying on there so that that's that's nicely designed obviously done ergonomically um yeah that's quite cool I like that 21 that's there <laughs> Ooh. okay so this is a pin magnet and it looks like it suctions to your machine so that's cool because so often you get these pin magnets for your machine but they are actual magnets and if you don't have a um, metal case on your machine a metal shell then you're not gonna be able to use that that i'm gonna i'm definitely gonna use that in fact let's see if it works on my machine right now oh <gasps> loving that I'm really liking that. 22. <gasps> okay. This is genius, Prim, because you get a refill for your chalk liner. Ch chaco liner? Ch I don't know how you say it. The chalk liner. Anyway, you get a different colour. So this one comes with the white one. Let's see if I can get it. I probably can't. But they do. They do come out. Um, so this one comes with a white one and then you have a yellow one for if you're using white fabrics. Really good idea. 23. Almost at the end. Last but one. What do we have? Are we ending on a strong note? Okay, you can never have too many needle, machine needles. Um, that's useful. Not that exciting, but it's useful. Oh, 24, we have, ending on a strong note, we have some Prim Love. This is their range. So this, all of these things are the Prim Love range, um, which is a really sweet, kind of really nice colours, this aqua blue and pink. So these are the Prim Love scissors and really nice scissors there. So again, never have too many pairs of scissors. So I'm going to lay it all out and we're going to work out exactly the value that we've got inside this box. Okay, so there is everything laid out. And as you can see, you get a lot of value in this box. There is so many different things. A few things I'm super excited about. The rotary blade, I think, is amazing. The chalk liner is super useful, especially whether you're a beginner or not. Really, really useful. As is the ping magnet. I don't have one of those for my machine, so loving that. Loving the little needle pot, really useful. Some things I'm not that thrilled about, like this, the seam ripper, if you're a beginner, then that's that's really useful. And I love that it's ergonomic, but safety pins, no, not needed in an advent calendar. Um, I guess most of the, the, the thread I'm not that thrilled about either. But again, I'm gonna use it, so can't complain <laughs> just thought i'd open it up and see what happens afterwards because you remember it said about you getting the sunflower seeds and you can turn them into like little potting um trays i feel like i want to take it apart okay that's easier. okay that's cool oh, i missed some more instructions what's that for oh this is for the washing detergent we're 100 percent open about it seep j contains the best natural ingredients good for the environment and everyone involved so these are the little trays that you get i guess you want to take out the uh the little sticky bits that are in the bottom of the advent calendar and then you just fill those with some compost and your seeds and then you have some flowers in the spring 
That is genius. I really, really like that as a packaging idea. This feels like it's all compostable and biodegradable. It's all made out of like um, paper, pressed paper. Very clever. Let me know what you think about this box in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Coming up on the screen right now are some more advent calendars that I think you're going to enjoy too. Do pop over there and let me know how you get on with those ones as well in the comments and I'll see you on the next video.